Hello and welcome back to City Skylines, welcome back to Barkerville and welcome back to where well, we've done a few things in between episodes. So we have our four modular sections of the city which are big old circles but they're beginning to look different even though they are the same. We have an area over here which used to be the industrial area. If we check the pollution we planted a bunch of trees and the pollution is now gone. It took a while, well actually it didn't take too long, we were playing on one time speed so yeah. Not not too long, about 10 minutes, and then everything clears up. Plant more trees and you'll get rid of everything. I've also, also, also added a bunch of tram lines because the industrial area didn't need tram lines. I've added that. But wait, there's more, there's more. This is the new industrial area. It's very polluted and it does in fact have tram lines, which is very, very good. Um, I've added some more roads on the outside for extra capacity, so that's good. And I've also added this section here because, well, there wasn't anything connecting one side of the city to the other for the trams to actually run on. And I've added things like botanical gardens and stuff. I just hit pause, bring up this. This is not connected to anything because this is not connected to anything. Boop, there we go. Done. I should now pick up some electricity from somewhere. Pick it up, pick it up. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Right, all of this is now charged and ready to go. Good. Last time, what we did is we added a bunch of these. Oh, there's a train there. Load, 7%. This load bar is different for each of the trains. If you have a regular train, that load is not the load. In fact, it is the distance travelled, which is a little confusing. Um, but yes, you don't need to tell... Uh, tell freight trains with freight depots to run in a specific pattern. They just happen, which we found out last time. It was a little bit confusing. This one here is the most used one, cargo train terminal, because it is right next to high density commercial. And the idea of putting these in around the city is so that the high density commercial can pick up from the cargo terminals instead of running cars and stuff through the city. Uh, I don't think we need those lines anymore, so we can get rid of those lines. Excellent. I don't know if there's any more electricity. There was electricity that ran through here, and that's gone. We have another terminal up here, which isn't really connected to much. Um, there's not, not, not a lot going on up there. We have another terminal up here. Again, not too much. There are trucks using it. So I'm assuming at some point a train will come on and pick everything up. We have two two terminals let's go over here two terminals one here and one on the other side for the uh for the industrial area we have medium demand for residential and medium demand for commercial that's going to be fairly simple the areas where we have our uh terminals we can turn those into so we've got offices along here hmm well we can get rid of those sorry guys uh i'm just gonna Whoop. Give me a give me a big old brush. There we go. Get rid of these offices. There are plenty of them. Um, what we can do is high density commercial this lot. And that means that train now has something to do because all of this area is now high density commercial. Excellent. Cool. And there's lots of lots of uh, trams servicing this. We could probably put this road, extend it around maybe to here. That would be nice. Because uh, this this <laughs> tram line is saying that it's not connected to anything. Uh, that's not going to affect trams. That's just going to affect, yeah, people are already building there. Good. Uh, high demand for residential. Well, that's an easy one to do. Because uh, what we can do is just paint these areas in. Which were, which were the old industrial areas. If we just put houses on, I'm pretty sure what would happen is, uh, without sucking the pollution out of the ground, everyone will just get sick. And you don't want a bunch of sick sims with a C. Okay, cool. Everyone's building now. I think we can start taking out... Yeah, those power lines can go. Cool. Those power lines are all gone. Everything is now connected. Uh, these ones can go as well. Because of everything connected there. Good, excellent. Just double check, make sure we have everything... Everything's fine. Yep, let's paint that back in. There's a couple of squares missing. Good. Well, we can do the same thing here. Nice. In terms of transport, let's hit up the uh, hit up the trams. And we don't have any tram link here. 
connected to the rest of the city, which is, um, there are a few roads that aren't really serviced. So the way we can do this is make sure we have tram selected, which is this one. And we got the tram line, well, fairly simple. If you zoom in on an area of the street, we got right, left, right, left. We're driving on the left in this city. So what we'll do is we'll go left, left. If you get it on the wrong side, it'll look like it's trying to double back on itself. Uh, and stop. Stop. Now, how do we want to do this bit? Uh, we can. Let's stop here. And then let's stop here. And here. Oh, something's on fire over there. Oh, that's no good. And stop here. And stop here. Uh, and stop here. Okay. Anywhere else where there needs to be a stop. I don't know. I mean, we can add one here, 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 and then just connect that line. Done. That line is now connected. So now we have uh, trams servicing this area, and it kind of goes around the whole city. That that is a disturbing symbol. That is a very disturbing symbol because half the damn city is now on fire. We had this problem last time. Ding ding! All right. Well, the fire brigade are on it, I guess. Oh, there he goes. Firefighter. Extinguishing fire. Do we have? Oh, is there squirt and water on it? Do we have helicopters? I mean, we do have helicopters, but I don't know where they are. Well, it looks like the fire brigade have got that under control. All right. Neat. <sighs> Houses are being built. Cool. We already have uh, Institute of Creative Arts, the university, we have the high school, we've got the elementary school, and a small park. So this area, which was like completely uh, not being used, is being used. I love the cargo terminals. I've got to say I love the cargo terminals. Ooh, I love the cargo terminals. Right, cool. Uh, do we have... We have a metro line that runs... Uh, we, sorry, we have a... Yeah, no, we have a tram line that one runs around here, which is neat, and which runs around here. So uh, demand for everything is pretty low. Cool. Excellent. We could put some train lines in. Uh, we do have... So if we click here, uh, what's the car situation like? 62%. Traffic flow in the city is about 62%, or around 60%. The other things that I've done is this highway now goes underground and it's now connected here, kind of awkwardly. Uh, there are cars using it, not much traffic using it, but there are cars using it. Uh, this highway got connected to the end of our uh, industrial era because it wasn't, it was only connected with this cloverleaf, so we have this T section here. We got a tunnel which runs underneath it, bypassing all of these intersections. And there is now a tunnel over here, which again runs under the city and just kind of bypasses all of these intersections. We could probably do with a tunnel that runs under this bit of the city, because these these wing tunnels under the core, like core of the city, I guess, they do take out. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't want the residences. Right tunnel. There we go. So these tunnels do take out quite a lot of traffic. There's quite a lot of private vehicles and trucks just just zoop into the tunnels. Private vehicles disappear off into the city for the most part, and then the trucks just go down the freeway and then disappear into this hub. I mean, it's not too bad, if I'm going to be honest. Not too bad at all. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we probably add a tunnel here which pops out here and that would take some of the pressure off of this and again something here maybe take these buildings out and pop it back in I don't know I don't know uh, it depends where these guys are going really for the most part straight down so, so the traffic lights keeping them keeping them sort of moving right so we have let's check public transport Public transport, 2,100 people are using the trams, uh, 1,500 people are using the metro. We have the inner ring and the outer ring. There's only about eight stations on the metro, but that's fine. Uh, we have 792 using the cable cars. Yeah, they're in each of the hubs has a cable car, and then north and south city has uh, cable cars linking it. 
and 140 people are using the uh, monorail. There's an interesting question. Do we carry on using the monorail? I mean, the monorail's fine where it is. We've squeezed it into the city. We kind of retrofitted it into the city along the... There it is. Uh, along the centre of these tracks. Distance travelled on line 22%. Passengers 10 out of 180. So, I think... Yeah, so he's scooting off that way. Goodbye. Yeah, so the monorail, it's fine, but they only really connect the hubs of the city, and I guess there's not much in the way of residential here. The trams are the ones doing the heavy lifting. What we could do is pop in a station. Like a railway station? Yeah, I'm thinking that. But how will we connect them? Uh, there are, well, there's a couple of ways of doing that, actually. Uh, so if we hit up train, we have the train station, which is a literal station, which connects to the road, and then what we do is we uh, add um, trains to it. Like, we would add pretty much anything. What we could do is do a central station, because we've got the hubs. Multi-platform train station, and then we've got the multi-platform end station. Well, 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 how would we do that? Well, the trouble is, the multi-platform end station, you can't really tell, but if you put it here, uh, oh, you can't connect it to a highway. Um, there is, there's, there's a little bit underneath it, which is actually a bit of metro. So if you put it next to a metro line or something that's underground, it says the metro line is blocking it. There we go. Metro line's blocking it, because that is a metro line underneath the platform. Ideally, you want it surrounded by stuff, so the centre of the city would probably be the ideal place for it. Unfortunately, each of the hubs actually has roads in it, so we're kind of stuffed for popping it right in the middle of town. Hmm, but wait. I don't... yeah. Let's see if there's any place that we can pop it. Uh, sort of here would be ideal maybe here would be ideal and then we could just sort of build up around it maybe um but then it creates a buttload of noise and that's the only only real issue we could put in a central uh monorail maybe that connects over here maybe uh that could be a way of doing things um but for the time being the tram oh god the trams they're just doing work all right Let's see if we can do something. Yeah, because we got the road network. Mm. I kind of want this to be connected with something. Uh, we could... So we, what we could do is we could put in uh, Metro. We do Metro, Metro, Metro. But we have so many tunnels now underground. We have the train tunnel, we have the road tunnels, which are now on two different levels to get underneath. So we can only go three levels down. So that's a bit of a tricky one. Uh, yeah, Metro would probably be the ideal solution. Oof, but it's really threading the needle in terms of... Uh, yeah, in terms of tunnel depth, I think. And I really want trains. Oh, I really want trains. All right. All right. Let's think about the trains. We could probably get the trains and the metro in. Let's try this. Uh, train hub. Multi-platform train station. No, I want multi-platform end station. There we go. We could pop it in here, I guess. And then have train stations running around the outside of the city. That might be a way of doing it. Uh, what's here? Nothing is here, so we're not going to be demolishing anything. That's kind of cool. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, alright, we're going to have to start building roads, I think. Uh, right, multi-platform end station. We're going to have you here. Yep. Boom. Everyone's happy about that in the region of the train station. Right, you are going to have to just have rails that go out over the water uh, what I can do is you can attach end station to end station so you can just have two stops not really efficient though, that's the main problem um, 
I think, though, if we're careful about how we make the lines, we could just have end stations around the city poking into city sections and then have a metro that links all of the outside up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, fine. Let's see. Uh, there is a platform there. So what we can do... Let's probably do it like... Ooh, kind of want this connected with a choo-choo train as well. Okay, we can... Ooh, we can't. We're right on the boundary here. That, that is going to be a tricky one. Because if we try and place it here, we have an issue with the depth of the metro. And we have an issue with the... Well, we can, we can deal with the highway. That's not even a problem. Um... Okay, yep, let's try this. Let's try... Oof, that is a metro line already. So we can attach that to that. And we can put a metro line in... Okay, right. All right, 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 right. Right. Uh, space already occupied by what? Don't know. Let's pop that in there and then uh, I can't I just, I just I kind of want to do this over here all right space already occupied space not occupied I'm sure there's something there that we shouldn't demolish doot and then I gotta do a little doot somewhere around here can't really put well ideally there would be good but we got so many tunnels in this area uh, let's see here okay fine that's gonna that's gonna be fine but wait I know I know I know I know I know you haven't connected everything but I also know so why don't we build a that's the that's the metro line yes so we're gonna go down okay Ooh, it is the double line metro tracks uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect these in a big old ribbony ribbon because we don't have a metro line that connects to the industrial hub uh, that's fine uh, what we're going to need to do is mm, this and I think we'll go down one so we're going to do a deep metro let's see to there. Deep metro. Yeah, yeah. So it's fairly deep where it is. Too short. Okay. It's like, it's too short. It's not. But don't worry about it. Okay. So that's one part, ribbon around to there, and then we need to connect to this one over here. Oh, it's a long old way. All right, so we'll do the same thing. We'll come out of here and immediately go down by pressing page down. And then I think just scoot over here. So we should be able to go under the existing metro line. We can, and then, oh, straight to there, cool. Right, so this, this metro line, <laughs> ooh, it's gonna be a mess. And then we're gonna have to run the train tracks around. Uh, where's the other train line uh, over there? Now what we probably do is put houses and stuff, we'll do something with this. Uh, what I wanna do is, we a corner, and then go page down, doot. And then from there to there, and then from there to there. Cool, that's connected. Ooh, it's a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of a mess, but don't worry. Don't worry about it. Once we have the metro connected, we gotta go down. Uh, we gotta go page down. There we go. Which means we can then Oh. 
And then should be able to just connect to that. Cool, excellent. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Because then we have to connect to here. Through this. Oh, tunnels. Through, uh, through this network of tunnels over here. So I'm going to go... Oh, this is two down as well. So what we need to do is actually go do a straight line from here. And then go down one. Click. And then we should be able to... Yes, 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 yes. If we need any more road tunnels, what we're going to need to do is make sure we are, in fact, underneath them. So we'll go from here... To... Here... There we go. Fine. That's that's a thing. It works, but it's, oh wow, that's a thing. Uh, what? This looks very confusing, but it's not. Um, and we should be able to. Oh no, nope, we had it. We had the thing. We had it. There we go. Metro line tool. Cool. So create a line. Uh, it's left, isn't it? So we have to hold left because we can go left or right. I think. And stop. I think we can go both ways. Uh, add stop. Add stop. Uh, add stop. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do uh, two loops in opposite directions. Add stop. And then add stop. And then, yeah, we can go in the opposite direction. Whee! All right, we can do, yes, left and right of the platforms. Doot. Kind of, I mean, kind of making the actual line redundant, the, the train's redundant, but well, whatever. Do. Okay, cool. So now we have train stations, which aren't connected to anything, but they do have metros running between all of these stations now. So this area has trams and a metro connecting it. Ooh, but now we can do a lot of train stuff. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, keeping an eye on this, though. High demand for residential. Ooh, where do we put high demand for residential? Pretty sure we can... Just turn this into high density residential. Really? Yeah, why not? Uh, we can, in fact, get rid of these guys. Sorry, guys. Let's just get rid of all of you. Oh, no, everyone's super upset. Because we're rezoning this to high density residential. Okay. Uh, that didn't get dezoned properly. There we go. High density residential. Boop, boop, boop. Done. But, oh, it's right next to the train station. Did you mean to do that? Yes. Yeah, I did. Oh, there's a little bit of green just there. Shouldn't have that. Neat. Uh, so that's, uh, commercial. Hmm, commercial. High density commercial, you see. Well, we can do that over here, or we can do that over... Oh, we already kind of done that over there. That's fine. They're all using that. Uh, we haven't done much over here in terms of high density commercial. I think we might need to move these guys out of the way. Sorry, guys, but this is going to get super noisy. So we'll just move you lot. Don't worry about it. I've got capacity for you anyway. We can put you somewhere else. So the blue is now next to the cargo ports. Uh, we can... Hmm, curious. Why is that not... Well, it's high density. High density residential, this area. Why not? We There we go. High density residential. Next to the stables. More people, more riding. Is that stables? Yeah, that's the stables. Uh, interesting. Oh, they, they, that's zone, but they can't really do much with it. Can we click on the horse? Horse. Riding stables. Uh, visitors per week, 27. Tourists per week, 5. Well, there's going to be more people in the area before long, so that's kind of neat. And this will satisfy demand for commercial. Yes, serviced by the cargo train terminal. Excellent. Cool. Ah, <sighs> Alright, let's check our choo-choo trains and everything. 
So we have uh, people riding the metro is still 1500. All right. Uh, can we see the metro trains? We should be able to see them on the outer line. Let's see. Yep, there's one here. Eh. No. Let me click on the train. Oh. Here it is. So, can we just get rid of that? Uh, children, teens, adults, seniors. Hi. Okay, oh, we can change the line colour. Neat. And we've got four trains on the line. With, I'm guessing these are the people who are waiting at the stops? 53, 54, 55. Okay, cool. Right, neat. Excellent. Yeah, brilliant. So, is that going to affect the traffic? Oh, there's a good question. I don't think it's going to affect the traffic too much. 63%. It's actually not too bad. It's about what it was before. Um, okay, fine. So, gosh. All these tunnels make it look like a bit of a mess, but then on the surface, it's absolutely fine. Well, except for the fact there's a car park through the middle of the city. Yeah. Looking neat. These cable cars don't work, though. Yeah, passenger service like was last week, 302. Oh, where do they go? Backwards and forwards, my friends. Backwards and forwards. Yeah, that's... And then these guys... Wait, are these the guys that are using this? They just get off and walk around this area? Yeah, alright. So the people who aren't using the using their feet, they're travelling to the north-south... north... south, north north and south of the city using yeah using the cable cars yeah they are doing work gosh all these tunnels though okay fine 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 well the question is do we want we can build more city well where will we build more city well we have the capacity to build trains now which is kind of neat. So we can build trains connecting all these. We can have uh, like a loop that goes around if we want to. Um, but for the time being, these are service loss week. So it's kind of an expensive way of doing this. But it does allow us to add, yeah, add capacity in the future. So we can just put them, <laughs> hmm, put this in a tunnel and then connect everything up. Good. Demand is a uh, medium demand for commercial or offices. I was thinking we could put offices maybe here, maybe zone this for residential. Uh, but then we, again, we could put offices along here as well. Uh, let's do office. I mean, we've got offices there. There you go. There you go. Have some offices. Have some more office space. Just don't go beating any printers. Cool. Uh, capacity for this hub is pretty much used up. Capacity for this hub is kind of used up. Uh, capacity for this hub. Demand. Low demand for commercial. I mean, we could put some commercial along here. Just so we're actually using the old... Uh, Using the old metal ship. You no, know, using the cargo port. Um, but wait, there's more. Yeah, there's a bit of road that we can't... Like, a bit of area that we can't really do much with. So if we go up here, we can do is just do... In fact, what i probably do is do this. Nice big curve. And straight lines. Boom. And boom. So then we can just go uh, high density commercial. Yes, please. Done and done. And then, ooh. There's quite a few bits of high density commercial. We could rezone all of this to high density residential. Why not? It's not very efficient the way you're doing it. No, I know. I just like the way I'm doing it makes for a nice interesting city you got commercial and you got well, noise pollution though hmm now yeah, there is that yeah there is that uh, housing student housing why not Let's have some student housing along here 
Okay. And these guys, I think this is kind of inefficient having these guys here, but for the moment demand is pretty low. So I think demand for everything is fine. Uh, why is everything on fire? Again? I mean, they're being put out by the helicopters. So that's fun. Everything's just kind of on fire. That is not great, but we have a but we have like what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight helicopters flying around putting the fire out. So uh, hopefully they'll they'll stop the university from burning down. Modern Tech Institute. Uh, that is definitely a singed Tech Institute. Okay. So many peeps. So many peeps. All right. Well, we'll just have to let that do it, like run its course. Oh, the high capacity medical helicopter building is now on fire. Ah! Did somebody put out the hospital buildings? Oh, you guys are doing it. Fire truck. Currently extinguishing fire. All right. He's uh, returning station. All right. I guess that's now put out. Cool. We're not losing buildings, I guess. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, these guys are building the commercials. Okay, yeah. So because the demand is low, everyone's not really building this area here. We Even though we said you can build buildings here. And there's tram lines, distance traveled online, 9 of 90, 12 of 90. So they can fit 90 people in each of the trams. And this guy's going, yeah. So they're servicing this area even though there's no one to service. Kind of. Uh, what we can do is zone some more of this for industrial. Why not? Get it nice and tucked in around the railway line. So the trams service, there's stops here. There's one stop in there. So this whole area is serviced by trams, which is kind of neat. Uh... I'm wondering if we put a little road in there, if we could add more commercial. Can we do that? Doot. And then a little little curb. Need that? Okay, <laughs> well I kind of messed things up a little bit. Oh, so not commercial, uh, industrial. No, a nice little weird road. Ding ding. There's the tram. I didn't, want to, I didn't mean to do that. Deep. Cool. So people can build in this area. A little autumn street. Neat. Ah, uh, yes. This whole place making fine fashions. Ah, eco friendly company. Ice Cube Factory. And Bruce Enterprises. Oh. Okay. Cargo train terminal. So most of these places are actually doing quite well now. All right, cool. And they've got, I mean, people can get certainly get out here. Although some places uh, have fallen by the wayside. Nylons galore abandoned. I guess the industry just wasn't going to support it. Neat. Uh, the fire is largely, well, I'd say burning itself out. Uh, fire brigades dealing with it. Some people's houses got suddenly a little bit singed. I'm one of one households. Okay, so everything's kind of okay. The tram depot is, that's where the trams live. It's a little house. I do like having the low density uh, residential right in the middle of town. It just gives it, uh, gives it a little breathing space where you don't have all the big ass, big ass buildings. So, yes, everything is looking fine. It's nice to just stop every now and again and just kind of see everything working. Traffic doesn't appear to be too bad either. I guess our fascination or our need to build... These guys are coming out on two wheels. Bug spray van. Yeah, these guys are literally coming out on two wheels. The heck? Whoa! Who taught you how to drive? That's crazy! 
There's 50,000 people in the city now. 50,893. Yeah, those those train lines are going to need to be used at some point. Uh, we can scoots. Scoots down the middle of town. Yeah. Well, I mean, this was always going to be a car park along here. Maybe we could... Oh, do you want to put a tunnel in to solve, solve, solve the traffic? I don't want to put a tunnel in to solve the traffic. I think I'm going to need to put a tunnel in to solve the traffic. Alright, what are you? That's the high school. Ooh, it's kind of in the way though. Police headquarters. Uh, Alright. I think they need to come out where that is. So what do we got? I think we'll need to move that. Uh, relocate building. Uh, where do we relocate you to? Nowhere here. Nowhere good. Well, relocate you there. Everyone's suddenly upset about that. But we need to join here, I think. You'll, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's commercial, commercial, commercial. Right, okay, fine. Road, no, highway, highway. Uh, underground, what is underground? Oh, jeez, there's a metro stop right there. That's going to be a pain in the bum hole. How can you tell? Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, that metro is going to be right in the way. Okay, underground. Uh, we need to go down. We can't connect to that because the station. Two down. Nope. One. Wait. Uh, one, two. So that's two down. Um, and that needs to connect to that. How is the space already occupied? Oh, because that's one down, isn't it? Oh, that's the ideal place. Damn metro in the way with all these humans. It's going to be short. Hmm, it's going to be a short enough distance. That's the trouble. So we go from there to there. Already occupied. Right. Okay. I've got an idea. Okay. There to there. Demolish you. Build. Down. Click. Oof. Metro station's in the way. Yeah, the metro station's gonna be in the way. Uh, we're gonna need to demolish you. Ah, oh, go down. Refund, refund. Right, cool. Why does it have to connect here? Because if you connect here, then they can make use of the full cloverleaf. If you connect here, they'll get confused. And if they're going south, they won't necessarily go round here and back onto the freeway. I don't think. Um, can we move the metro station? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Not really. The park's in the way. Yeah, the park's kind of in the way. Okay. Uh, can we move the park? E why have we got two parts right next to each other? Wait a second. Wait a minute. Alright. Everyone's super unhappy about that. Yeah, there's two parks next to each other, guys. Dude, what are you doing? Right, move the metro station. Uh, really keep building. I don't think it's going to matter, you know. I think it's already occupied by itself, so there's not a lot we can do there anyway. Right, forget it. Ah. Hmm. And we're going to think this one through, because the people are going to try and get here. This junction is the wrong way around. Okay, let's... Let's move you back. Sorry, going to move the school back. There you go. Uh, we are going to do this instead. Let's go up. Uh, let's just use the straight tool. Down. Down. 
slope too steep. Okay. Down one. Okay. And we should be able to... Because we have to get under the metro. Hmm, <laughs> that ain't right. Okay. Well, so what are you trying to do? Well, the metro line is here, and we need to get this. Okay, we're going to need to go forward slightly and go down again. To there. Now, I think we should be able to make the corner. There we go. There we go. It's a bit of a mess. But it kind of works. Uh, I need to... Okay, corner tool. Click on the U. Go to here. And then go to... Here. So this just needs to join here, right? Yes, it does. So too steep. Too steep. Too steep. Okay, let's go up a level. That's fine. Uh, so that should be able to just connect to that. Because that will then go up underground. And it does. Cool. So that squiggly little bit of road should take traffic from here. Uh, as soon as they work out that they can just bypass all of these. That's not going to work. It does take a while for them to work out that actually this tunnel is here. So as soon as that's in, cars should probably come down from the right and start just driving into the tunnel. It's like, yeah, there we go, cars driving into, yeah, there we go, cars into the tunnel. Right, but what about this? Well, we could probably bring a tunnel out here, I think. I don't think there's any way to connect to here, not with that metro in the way. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can move the school. School ain't going to move into that area. Well, kind of. Probably get the school out of the way. Doot. Okay, move it out of the way. Fine, everyone's unhappy about that, whatever. And then we need to attach to here to ease up the traffic. Is that going to ease congestion here? Well, that should help with the bridge a little bit. Gosh, driving around the city without GP even with a GPS. It's not going to work in the tunnels. Wow, this is kind of a confusing city to drive around. It's my fault. Uh, right. So, how do we do this? Uh, we can connect from... Oh, Ooh, we've got it. We have to go in one direction, right? And it has to be that direction. There's no way we can... Yeah, that's, this is the only way we can do it. Okay, uh, we can go down one and do a straight line. Yeah, we're on straight line tool. Duped. Right, so that will go underneath all of that, uh, which means we go back up here, click here. Oh. And we need a, we just need a, just need a, there we go. Uh, a little curve, a little last bend. To there, and then to there and then kind of back again right and then if we do a straight line and go down by one that should now connect to that cool oh there is traffic taking oh geez the squiggly little tunnel there's loads of traffic taking it Okay, so uh, it's worth putting in the little tunnels to bypass all of the junctions. I'm sure there is a better way of doing it, like turning the traffic lights off and just allowing the traffic to just do what it wants to do. And now there are cars, yeah, driving down the new tunnel. Okay, but anyone who wants to go into the city hub is... Are you going to go back on yourself? No, he's going south. Okay. So, cars going into the tunnel. Are you going to drive into my tunnel? Mud bike. Man, yeah, but the majority of the stuff is actually going to turn off and go into these areas. There's another freaking fire. Why are there so many fires? The 
it has a pool on the roof. Oh no, it's a glass roof. Wow. I mean, at least the fire brigade's actually doing something. This is crazy. How many fires there need to be? So, tunnel, you're driving into it. You're driving into it. You're driving into it. You guys are bypassing it. You're driving into it? Nope. Yep. Yep. So anyone who's bypassing this side of the town can just... And there's that eased up the traffic. Well, the bridge is less of a car park, I guess. Yeah, the bridge is actually less of a car park. Cool. So that's worked quite well and they called me a madman. Wow. Okay, cool. Excellent. What is traffic flow? Oh, this area is all burnt out. What is traffic flow? Uh, transport. So 2,700 people are now using the trams. The metro is now up to 1,900 people. So the metro is actually doing work. Uh, 644 people are using the cable cars. It's down. 125 people are using the uh, monorail. So we have, have different areas, uh, loops, outer, mid, inner rings. We got a mid ring or in, inner ring for the metro, uh, for the monorail. Yeah, everything's working pretty cool. Oh, there's a train. Freight train. Goodbye, freight train. We can't connect to you just outside the city limits. Kind of annoying. There's a freight train here. Can I click on you? Why can't I click on you? Freight train. Tell me your where, tell me your secrets. Got 13% load. Cargo train terminal. Ah, oh, so my trains always disappeared. He just loaded up nothing. I assume the freight trains just vanish once they're done. It's kind of crazy. We're going to get these trains in. But yeah, so the commercial areas are now, yep, yeah, little van. Is he using this? I know they drive in and just disappear into these terminals. Box truck. There it goes. Straight in there. So yeah, they are absolutely easy. So I'm hoping that's going to reduce the traffic in the city a bit. It's a bit of a weird system because you've got one, two, three, four main routes through the town. And then you've got the main highway that kind of runs, snakes through it. Uh... Oh god, really? I'm gonna... Not you. Uh, EV emergency services, fire watchtower. That's a big old tower. Can I just put them in the middle of the... Wouldn't that be neat if you could just put them right in the middle of... No, uh, you can't. Take up too much space. Alright, well I will put one in the middle of each of the highways, I think. Everyone's super happy. Uh, everyone's super happy about that. Alright. Yeah, each of the each of the clover leaves get a fire watchtower. Why? Because everything is being on fire. I don't think it's gonna help so much with the fact that we're in the city, but somebody's gonna be up there and just be like, you know what? I think, uh, I think we need a little bit of coverage. And you get one as well, because this keeps burning down. The, the coverage is actually quite big. So even the hubs... Yeah, they'll cover the city hubs and each of the areas outside. Neat. Cool. Yeah, weird that everything keeps freaking burning down. And speaking of electricity... Do we need all of this? Yes. Actually, we don't need this line anymore. So we can demolish this line. Uh, let's go up. You can go... Because we're not needed anymore. Just a temporary connection anyway. Oh, people are building over here. Oh yeah, of course, because we told them they had extra capacity. Neat. And because we put the... Because we put the, met, uh, the tram line in already trams and education and everything we could just zone it now and it's all pretty pretty much taken care of cool uh medium demand for commercial hmm okay medium demand for commercial well we could just put commercial literally around the stations that we've placed like we've done over here that's a, certainly a thing we can do. Certainly a thing we can do. Is there anything... 
Uh, what have we got in terms of capacity? Boop. Ooh. Not much without actually just making these places bigger. Oh, I suppose we could commercial all of this. Let's do it. Let's do it. You are now commercial. Zoop. And zoop. And zoop. Done. Excellent. Start building your commercial building. Oh, medium demand for residential. It's almost as if it's never ending. But wait, there's more. Yeah, we've... Seriously. We can just do this. Really? Yep. Uh, we can actually just rezone this as well. You guys with the low density residential, I'm afraid it's time for you to move. Really? Yeah. Time for you to move, unfortunately. High density residential is the way of the future. It is? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Okay, cool. So high density residential. Uh, and we can add a bit... Everything's on fire. I don't want to go too close to the industrial area because of the pollution. Shouldn't be too bad. I suppose we could add some offices or something here as well. The pollution and... Oh, the pollution and the fact that everything keeps being on fire. Even though this has already burnt out once before. I think it might be to do with forestry. Because I think this is a, like a forest zone. Yeah, this area is burnt out. But these trees will come back. Because it'll, it'll slowly recover. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe we do better commercial here. Because it's right next to the... It is literally right next to the industrial area. So we can do that. Uh, yeah, we can absolutely do that. It's a bit of high density commercial. It makes sense because they're making the goods there and then we can just uh, put them in the shops. That is a play park, although you would never be able to tell because there's all sticks and stuff. Cool. Helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Right, cool. And medium demand for... Oh, low demand for industry or offices. Uh, we could put more offices in. That's entirely feasible. There you go. More office space. I think the city's pretty much uh, okay. Population is now 52,000. Good. Nobody's dead yet. I mean, there's probably plenty of dead people. Let's check on that. Uh, garbage. Garbage status is pretty good. Yeah, we've made sure the garbage is on the outside of town. The only place that doesn't have its own little garbage thingy is over here. Uh, hospital's not... Uh, hospital's not great for garbage processing, but it's a hospital. What are you going to do? Um, happiness. Everyone's pretty happy. That's probably an empty building. Yeah, empty building. Suffering's so pretty happy. Crime is an all-time low. 5%. Uh, pollution, yeah. It's nice to keep it outside the city. I think we should be okay with the residential and everything over there. That, that should be alright. Uh, in terms of fire risks... Hmm. These areas here. 39% hazard. I mean, this area is more likely to catch on fire than others. We do have quite a bit... Oh. Yeah, we do have quite a bit of fire putting out. I think it might be the, the proximity to the trees. Uh, transport, 2,700 now using the trams. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, education is capacity, 10,000. Eligible, 3,000. Yeah, we got plenty of capacity for elementary school. We got uh, high school, university, public library... Capacity is 900, public library is 339, so people are using it. Uh, you do have access to libraries. You do have access to libraries, because I can put them in. Public library. Where are you? What is that building? Oh, faculty. Um, public library. Which one? This one. Oh, we could slap one in. 
Uh, <laughs> hmm. It's on the outskirts of town. Okay, pop one in there. Everyone now has access to reading rainbows? I don't know. Uh, pop one in over here. I think over here, where there's least the amount of buildings that we're going to demolish. Oh, space already occupied. What is it occupied by? Oh, there's a park there, that's why. Okay. Yeah, you get to visit the library. What has it got? It's got books. But what else has it got? Other books? I don't know. Hmm, okay. Uh, another one here. Doot. Okay, cool. That's kind of made things a little bit easier for the people. Oh, there's no library in the... In the center of town. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, cool. So I think everything is pretty decent. Land value is pretty high. Land value around here is pretty low, but then the pollution is going to keep that down. Well, no, it's intermediate. Oh, it's intermediate. Yeah, the pollution is going to keep that down, though. Uh, pretty high in the center of town. Very high in, in these districts. Neat. Uh, neat. And the building levels are, yeah, as high as you can possibly want, I think. Electricity production, 2,160 megawatts. We're using 653. Water production sewage is um, not cause for concern, but we're, we're, we have the capacity for 1.1 million units and we're using 673,000 units in terms of sewage and water, 1.2 million units uh, water and we are using uh, 674,000 units. Everything is fine. Noise is not too bad in the residential areas. Yeah, residential areas seem pretty clear. Not too, too bad. So I think everyone's okay. Health. Health is alright. Death care. We have zero buried. Deceased 153. We have a capacity for incinerating 1,470 people. Alright. Char care. There's plenty of char care going on. Oh, we don't have any elder care or child care on this outer rim. Might want to get onto that. Okay, fine. Uh, so, one of these child health center. Yeah, probably probably should get onto that. Dude, child health center. There we go. Because uh, kids, uh, kids. Yeah, they tend to get a lot of diseases. Very little disease creatures. So put that there. Uh, boop. There we go. Elder care. Oh, 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 eh. The care for the elderly. I'm just looking for a nice place to put it where we're not going to demolish too much stuff. There. And since we're doing it, put the crematorium right next door to it. There we go. You know, it's, it's why they're going to die. Ooh, we've got the child health centre, we've got the elderly care place, we've got one there's park there. Ah, pop it there. Whatever. Cram. Oh uh, yeah 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 crematorium right next to it. No, that's a park there. I'll oh, put it across the road. I'll just wheel them across the road, it's fine. Right, uh, in terms of electricity, do we need all of these pylons still? No. We can get rid of you, 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 and you. So we have one thread that connects that. Good. We got any more pylons we don't need? Yes, yes. Some redundant pylons over there. Any more? Any more for any more? I don't think so. I think that's everything. That's a freaking fire. Why are you on fire? Building is on fire. Mega shopping center. I mean, sure, yeah, of course it's on fire. Everything's on fire. Somebody get the fire brigade. We can make it a historical building. I don't think I want to make it a historical building. Uh, where is it taking goods from? From the other side of the city. And is that the fire engine? Is that, that is the fire truck. 
Dude, you need to get to the fireplace. The place is on fire. Oh, look at that. Hey, it's the metro train. Excellent. Uh, fire truck is coming. There he is. I suppose if you have a problem with your city. Boop, boop. Yep, there we go. Truck's there. This place is almost completely burnt down, but fine. Go nuts. Donuts. And it's out. Yep, done. Cool. And the pie van immediately delivers to... Okay, alright. Yeah, so this is the outside of the city. Out of city streets. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> city Skylines 2? Is that an advert for City Skylines 2? Yeah, I'd buy it if it wasn't still... 40 buckos. It's way too expensive. Choo choo train! Cargo train! Right, excellent. So yeah, I I wasn't entirely sure if these would work. Oh, vanishes. I wasn't entirely sure if they would work, but they are doing work. Excellent. So Barkerville is looking pretty good. In terms of all the bits that aren't currently burning down. Speaking of burning down, all these trees are coming back. Yeah, we're beginning to come back. So we've got the stations with... Oh, oh. Wait, is that car parking? It is, down the side. Okay. So both sides have car parking. Uh, can we get in there? Not really. Interesting. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got, I mean, it's too many lines, realistically. <gasps> is that a soda machine? Yes, that is a soda machine. All right, cool. So at some point, I'm going to need to start connecting these lines up. It's not the most efficient way of doing it, but... Oh, oh, I just realized what I... <laughs> Oh, we got we already got a load of stuff under the city. We're going to need some lines above ground and some lines below ground. And also, if we expand the city, and we can expand up here, up here. Although we do have the forestry tools, so we can do forestry, uh, which means forestry maintenance buildings. We can put in these areas. We need to paint the districts, so paint a forestry district in and do that. That would be a, a thing to do. I don't know what it would do to the traffic, but we do have a little bit of a little nub of highway sticking out the top there, which could be used. Good. Excellent. I think I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So what have we done? Uh, we've just maintained the city, I guess. Uh, we've added train stations. We've added a bit more in the way of uh, transport in terms of the road. 65%. Yeah, we're hovering around that 60-65%. It's not too bad. Those tunnels that we built, the squiggly tunnels, they're really being used. Uh, yeah, we can't really do much here because this is where people are trying to get to. There are cars going down here, so yeah. Everything's looking pretty good. I suppose we could expand the ribs here around the top here again. So if we bury... Oh. Hmm. There's nothing there. If we bury some of the roads, what we could do is we could add more, uh, more of a connection across here as well. Like we've done with the rest of the city. Yeah, but otherwise Barkerville, it's looking great with 53,000 people in it. Uh, roads aren't too bad. There's plenty of public transport. The only one we haven't put in currently are buses. And I do like this nice low corridor of low density housing just in the middle of everything. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you want notifications, ding the bing. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell and I'll tell you what. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>